In San Francisco, in June 2005, computer hacker Max Butler and his partner Chris Aragon are stealing credit card numbers with impunity. And they're leaving a wake of financial disaster for millions of Americans. Butler, who now calls himself Iceman Online, hacks into Carter's forums, the illegal websites where criminals buy and sell stolen financial data. Greed has gotten the best of him. He wants more. He's even hacking into banks and credit unions. He's in this cyber underground where he's this elite hacker, and he's making over $1,000 a day. That's very, very good money. And, and it's kind of hard to walk away from that, especially when your ego gets involved, uh, where you think that you can't be caught. Butler justifies his criminal acts by telling himself he's just sticking it to banks. You know, I made myself feel better about it. You're not actually hurting people, uh, individuals. Uh, of course, it turns out I did actually cause quite a bit of, um, more than just an inconvenience, quite an ordeal for a lot of people. People like Julie, who asked that her last name not be used. In late 2009, someone using stolen identity information opened up several lines of credit at various stores. They almost get away with charging $11,000 in her name. This is not a victimless crime. They may think it is, but I was the victim. Depending on the case, it can take up to two years of painstaking work to clear one's name after identity theft. Wednesday on American Greed, it's a multi-million dollar criminal enterprise, stealing your money, your privacy, invading your life. I was exposed in a way that I've never been exposed before. A jailhouse interview takes you inside the mind of a cyber thief. Illegal hacking can be seductive. It's a temptation. Some people will do anything for money. It was quite an ego boost. I got a rush, really. An all-new American Greed, Wednesday, 9 Eastern on CNBC.